Whenever you develop Shopify theme projects, it's best to always back up your theme projects using Git repositories. With Shopify, you can connect your Shopify store to a GitHub account. This allows you to not only save or back up your theme projects, but it also allows you to pull your changes directly from your GitHub account or directly from your Git repositories, thanks to what we call Shopify GitHub integration. Well, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Git repository for your theme projects, and I'm also going to show you how to connect your GitHub account with Shopify. Are you ready? Let's begin. Now before we begin this video, if you want to learn more about Shopify theme development or if you want to learn how to create Shopify themes from scratch, then you can check out my Shopify theme development course. I recently published or replaced old videos with new ones. So if you want to check that out, everything is in the description below and you can use the coupon code git 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 to get 30% off. Everything in the description below. Let's begin. Okay, so welcome back to another lesson. In this lesson, we'll be using Shopify GitHub integration to um, develop Shopify themes so we can easily pull our changes, this time directly from our GitHub account instead of using Shopify CLI. So without further ado, the first thing that you need to have is your admin page. Make sure that you're logged into your Shopify dev store as well as your GitHub account. Make sure that you have a GitHub account. However, if you don't have a GitHub account, then you can sign up, you can open github.com and then you can use your email address to sign up for GitHub, okay? And once you're signed up, you should have the following page. Obviously, yours is gonna be different, you won't have this. So the first thing that you need to do is to create a new repository. So here, click the new button and it should open the following page. For the repository template, just leave it with no template. Don't change it, it's fine. For the owner, it's going to be you, and then your repository name is going to be something that you want. You wanna call this repository whatever you want, it's up to you. But just for the sake of this lesson or this video, I'll call this Elizabeth underscore, or Elizabeth underscore, for underscore Shopify underscore GitHub. Now, the reason why I'm calling this this, and that's because just so you know which repository I'm going to select when I change or when I open my Shopify admin add theme. You'll find out what I mean later on in this lesson, okay? So Elizabeth for Shopify GitHub, that's good. It's checked, that means it's good. If there's an error, it's going to produce like a red or X um, icon, and that means it's not good. If it's green check, you're good. Okay, so for the description, you can leave this empty. You can type something here. It don't matter, it's optional. You can type whatever you want here. This is an example repository for Shopify GitHub integration. You can type something like this, and that is fine. Now for the public and private, you can just select public. My advice is just select public for now. Once you understand how this works, you can choose private, okay? Now for the initialize this repository with, you don't have to check this. In fact, I don't recommend you add a readme file because later on you will need the, um, the default readme file um, created by GitHub, okay? So don't check this. And then for the add git ignore, just leave it with none. Same with the choose a license, just leave it with none. That's good. And once everything is okay, click the create repository and that should create the following. Now you have your Elizabeth for Shopify GitHub repository. And as you can see, we do have the following quick setup. So for this, we need to install git because if you don't have git, this codes or this commands is not going to work. They're not going to work if you don't have Git. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go back to VS Code and then you can open the terminal, create a new terminal, and then you can type Git and then version. If you see something like this, that means you have Git. If it says something like Git command is not found or it's not working, then that means you don't have Git. So you have to install Git. 
So you can open your browser and you can search for git download. And here select the downloads and you should have the following page. You can visit git-scm.com forward slash downloads if yours is different, okay? Make sure that you're in this page. And in this page, you can download the Git um, installer for macOS, for Windows, for Linux, or Unix. By default, it's going to identify your system. So make sure you download this, install it. It's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is just to um, click next, next, next once you download this um, installer. And once you have it installed, open your terminal. In fact, you have to reload your terminal, like close it, and then open a new terminal. And this time, if you type git version, this time it should work, okay? All right, so once you have everything set, the next is to initiate your git project. So let's go back to our repository. First thing is the git init. You don't need to use this because it's just going to create a readme file. We don't need to create a readme file because if we go back to our project, we do have a readme file here already. So you don't have to um, use that command, okay? So next is the git init. If we use the git init, it's going to initialize a Git repository. So as you can see, if you noticed, everything is green. But the problem here is that, if you notice, the node modules is also green. And if you take a look here, it says 1K plus. That's a lot of files and you don't want that. You don't need the node modules in your repository. So we need to um, ignore those files. How can we do that? we can use the git ignore file. So it's kind of similar to the um, Shopify ignore. So we're going to create a new file, right click, new file, and then type dot git ignore, like that, okay? Make sure that it starts with dot or period. Press enter and you should have, and you should have the following file. So what we're going to put in this file is the folder node underscore modules as well as the src because we don't need this in our repository. Or if you want, you can leave it there as well. By default, Shopify will ignore the folders VS Code, node modules, and the src. It's just going to look for assets, config, layout, locales, section snippets, and templates. Okay. So here in git ignore, we'll include the node modules folder. Now, if we save this, notice that the node modules folder is grayed out. And that's what we want. And if you noticed, the source control is only including 40 files. Take a look, the node modules disappeared. Awesome. So now that we initiated our project, now that we have git ignore, we can start connecting to our git repository. So let's go back to the quick setup. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to add all of our files before we can commit. In this setup, it's only adding the readme file, but we want to include everything, all of our files, okay? So going back to the terminal, type git add space and then all. Dot symbol means all of the files in this working directory will be added to the git, okay? So git add dot, press enter, and if we open, if you notice, it changed, it, it, um, it shows a clock icon. That means it's doing something. So if you open the source control, as you can see, now it says stage change. If you hover this, there is a minus button. If you click that, it's going back to changes. Now you have to do the same command, git add, to put it to stage. There you go, as you can see, it's now staged. Awesome. So now that we have staged, the next command is the git commit. So we can copy this, that's fine. We can go back to the terminal and then here, we can just paste the command git commit lowercase hyphen m and then the message. Basically this means git make a commit and I want the message hyphen m to be first commit. Inside of this double quotes, you can change it. Instead of first commit, you can say something like, hello world Elizabeth. You can type something like that, but make sure that you enclosed it with double quotes, okay? So now if we press enter, 
as you can see, it created the following. Create mode. All of our files is now committed. Now, all we need to do is to create a branch. If you notice, the files here in the source control disappeared and it's saying we need to pu publish the branch. But we're not going to do that. Um, instead, we're going to create or rename our master branch. Currently, it's saying master, but I want to change that. If we go back to the quick setup, we can use the command git branch and rename the branch to main. Okay, so we can copy this. We can go back to the terminal. I'll clear my terminal so it's clean. Here, I'm going to paste the command git branch uppercase M and then main. This is the name of the branch. In fact, instead of main, you can use development. And this branch name is going to be shown in your admin page. So we'll call the branch development. And now, as you can see, the branch is changed to development. Awesome. So the next command that we're going to use is the git remote to connect to this repository. So copy this line, the git remote, copy that, and then go back to your project, to your terminal, and paste the command like so. Now the URL is going to be different, okay? Yours is going to be different, just so you know. So git remote add origin, and then my git repository URL, okay? So once I press enter, it's not going to say anything, but now we are connected to our GitHub repository. Now we can push our files to our GitHub repository, okay? So now we can use the git push space hyphen u origin and then the branch name. So it's supposed to be development, okay? Because if we go back to the quick setup, it says git push origin and then the branch name main. But since we called our branch development, it's not going to be main. Instead, it's going to be development. Okay. So now if we run this command, it's going to push our files to our Git repository. Now it's done. We can go back to the repository. And now if we refresh our page, we will have the following. Now we can use this and we can now connect to our GitHub account using Shopify. So let's go back to admin and open your themes page, online store and then themes. And then if we scroll down, there is an add theme button here. If you click that, there is a thing called connect from GitHub. There is an option that says connect from GitHub. If you click that, you will have the login button Select that and it will give you a window like so. And it's going to ask you to log in. So select your Shopify account. And after that, it's going to ask you to install Shopify. And it's going to ask you which account you want to install Shopify to. So I'm going to use my account. It's going to ask you to select a repository. If you want to select all of your repositories, then you can leave it with all. But let's try to use just one repository. I'm going to select the repository called Elizabeth underscore for Shopify GitHub. Okay, so I have the following repository. As you can see, it's also saying the description that I wrote earlier. So this is an example repository for our GitHub integration. If I select that, this is only the repository that I can access using Shopify, okay? But if you select all, all of your repositories under your GitHub account is going to be shown, okay? Just so you know. But I'll just use my repository, that's fine. And with this permission, Shopify can read access to deployments, etc., read and write codes, etc. That's good. We can just click install. And there we go, as you can see, now it's connected. Now here I have the account. And if I select a repository, I don't have access to the following repository. But if I search for Elizabeth underscore, as you can see, I have now the following. So if I click that, it's going to show the branch called development. If you create another branch, it's going to be shown here. If you have many branch, everything will be displayed here. But I'm not going to do that. Let's just select or connect to this branch. 
connect. And there it goes, you can see now it's connected. Now it's installing the theme. Awesome. So now we can close this. Now, if we select preview, we will have the following page. This is just the project that we've been working on the course. So if you're wondering why is it empty, that's because we are just starting working on our theme project. So without wasting more time, let's try to change something, okay? Let's change something here in the sections folder. In the header that liquid, we can add something above the assign tag. We can say something like, hello. I have changed this file. If I save this, now notice that the color changed. Now it's color yellow. Yellow means you modified the file, meaning it's not yet pushed to your Git repository. So what you can do, you can go back to the terminal and you can use the command git add and then all. And now you can use the git commit and then the message is going to be something related to the file that you updated. Updated the file header liquid, header.liquid. And that should give you the following. The next is the push command. So git push. And there we go. Now it's pushed. If we go back, if we go back to the git repository. If we reload this page, as you can see, now we have two commits. Updated the file header.liquid. And if you open that, it says that this line is added. Okay? So now we can go back to the admin page. If we reload this page, we will also see a view log. So let's save just now. And if you press the view logs, you will have here two logs, one for the first commit and one for the recent commit. So we added one file. So now if we reload this page, as you can see, now we have the hello, I have changed this file. And there you have it, we have successfully connected our Shopify store to a GitHub account. Now we can easily pull our changes directly from our GitHub repository. Now, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button and by subbing to the channel. I will be creating more videos like this, more Shopify theme development um, related videos. So make sure that you sub to the channel. Bell, I hate saying that, but it is what it is. I'll see you next time. Peace.